Hello there, gamers. Hey, it's Cast55, and you are staying alive with Cast55. Uh, so we're still kind of just in the early phases of this game. So resource gathering is still a big thing. But, you know, just getting resources without uh, getting up close to your friends is not near as much fun. Somebody told me that, you know, you don't have to use the arrows and chase the deer, that you can use daggers, because daggers have the bleed effect on them. So we're going to try this. And there it is. There it is. You can see that uh, if you use the the um, right mouse button for the, the harder attack with the dual daggers, uh, the bleed effect actually makes it so that you can take out a deer pretty easily uh, and not have to chase it around. So that's another option if you don't want to waste arrows on that. Um, but, like I say, in this game, getting up close and personal is kind of what it's all about because, you know, what they say... Uh, in the movies themselves, Conan says, crush your enemies, and his Valeria, his love, always says, do you want to live forever? And so the answer to the second one is kind of yes, but the game isn't fun if you don't get up and have some combat. So one of the earliest creatures that you're going to encounter that you really have to combat is the lar- oh, there's two of them. I don't want to take two of them on at once. Dang. Uh... So he sees me. I'll lead him away. Let's see if I can fight just the one at a time. Come on, see me, fight me. Come on. That's it. So he's gonna take a swing at me. I'm gonna back up. He's gonna take another swing at me. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna come in, take a couple of swings at him, and then I'm gonna get out of the way. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Up! Oh, you really want to get out of the way when he does that? That's his power move. Oh, I'm out of energy. Back up, back up. Oop. So these guys are actually fairly easy. Just get ready to do a power move. And I'm out of stamina again, so I need to walk away so I can get some stamina. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, face him. Just getting up to do the power move. As soon as he's done with the power move, come at him. Back away. Back away. Come at him. Back away. There you go. And there it is. We have taken out the turtle. So even without very good armor or very good weapons, you can take these guys out if you're uh, paying attention to their moves. And uh, go ahead and collect some resources. The savory meat is much better for food if you can get that. So that gets one of them. Let's get six. So let's go back and do this again for the other one. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come get me. See, his power move is that jump. That's the one thing that you have to keep really keep in mind. Oh, I missed the, the timing on that. Oh, there we are. See? He tried to get me with the big jump. And I'm going to take him out right there. All right. So, some hide, some bone, some good stuff there. Let's go get the little boy. Grub there. I'm um, hearing you guys over here. I can come back and pick me up some eggs. Up, oh, I'm over encumbered. Hmm, what have I got that I don't need? Uh, I don't need you guys. I really don't need you heads. Okay. 
That helps a lot. Okay. Grub. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the base. We're gonna pick this up again in daylight. We're gonna come out and go see what we can figure out. Catch you guys in just a little bit. Hang in there. Okay, so it's daytime and I'm still very close to my base, but I want to show you something that's good advice all the way through the game. Um, you know, a major part of this game is going to be combat. You're going to be getting up to stuff. Now, I don't know everything. Certainly, I don't. Uh, and that's one of the things I would highly recommend. Uh, viewers are putting up some great tips, some great play tips on the comments on my pages. So take the time to read some of the comments. There's some really cool stuff there. Uh, and, and, and I appreciate, guys. Thanks you for put. Thank you for posting it. Um, so anyway, you're going to find that you start getting further and further and further away from your main encampment or encampments if you have more than one. And so, um, if you get engaged in combat, you are not guaranteed to always win. So it's a good idea to bring with you a bed. And just kind of put it there and make sure that that's your spawn point. And then when you're close to an enemy camp... Oh, there's not going to be any soldiers here? Oh, well, that bites. Come on, guys. All right, I'll come back. Ooh, nice. I like that. Salted berries, bone arrows. It was a nice little haul, but for a little camp like this... But I don't get to show you what I wanted to show you. Let me back away from this campsite. Alright, I'll show you here someplace else. So I'm going to put that back into my inventory for right now. out of stamina there because I was running up to it I forgot I ran up to it Let's... Let's go back down and see here. At this point, um, leather is very important to me because I need it to upgrade my armor and I'm also going to need it to repair my armor. So that's why I'm collecting hide so I can make leather. But I want to get to a campsite where I can show you what I was talking about here. There's a campsite down there. There's a 
gator there. So you want to look around when you're doing this and just keep collecting some stuff here as I go. The easy stuff. And you want to kind of get an eye on where things are. So here's a good example. So if I put my bedroll up here, someplace, maybe. Come on, bedroll, find a spot where there's some ground. Moving is not allowed here. There we go. So I put my bedroll there, okay. And now I can come down. Ooh, we got crocodiles, two crocodiles. Oh, guys, I don't want to take the crocodiles on just yet. Well, while their mm -hmm. crocodiles are taking uh -huh. those guys on, I'm gonna come over here. Come into the light. Oh, wow. I, uh... well, I'm not doing good in this fight. They're backing away. So let's tank this archer, and by that I mean just get your shield up in front of you. I need to let my stamina build back up, though. Uh, it's not going to build up while I'm holding the shield up. There it goes. So control. Let's tank this archer. That means just get your shield up or it's blocking his arrow shots. some regeneration going here. Control. There we go. So let's take the die. I don't know if I need the wood, but let's keep going. Let's see what we got over here from this guy. Oh yeah, I want the iron arrows. I want the, the gaseous orb. More wood. I don't care about the plant fiber right now. But the other thing I can do with these guys is possibly get some hide by harvesting them. I'm not a cannibal, so I don't care about the more cool, some more arrows, some more salted berries. So now had I lost that battle, which was quite possible there for a little while, um, then I would have respawned on my bedroll. Oh, some good food here. Some more flint arrows, nice. Oh, wood, bones, the bones, that's a nice haul of bones. I don't care about the rest of this. The Yog Pit I can't use because I'm not a, a follower of Yog. My uh, selected religion was Mitra. So I survived the battle, 
But had I not, I would have respawned close enough that I hopefully could have gotten in and gotten my armor and weapons off of my dead body. I need to do some regenerating here, because I did take some damage during that. I don't need all these human parts, because I am not a follower of Yogg, so I don't do the cannibal thing. And now I need to just pick this up. So that I can have it for a different spot. But that's good advice. Uh, if you're not sure if you're going to survive a combat, kind of look around. Make sure you're outside the spawn point. Uh, if you can, when the battle starts, try to pull the enemy away from their encampment. So that if you do die, uh, you're not to where they're instantly going to be on you when you're trying to recover your stuff. Uh, if you die a second time before you recover your stuff, that stuff is just lost forever. So that's why the bedroll and placement and so forth is important for future combat. Okay. Uh, hopefully that made sense. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff, and I will come back here when we get back to another... Uh, something a little more exciting than this. Okay, so I just took out this dude over here who came at me. Oh, I should go ahead and harvest him. Okay, get rid of the, the arms. I don't need the arms. Give me my sword back. And let's get these other two taken care of. Oh, he's not done. Now he's done. Tank the other one. Tank the other one. Oh, nice shot, lady. So she's dead. Okay. And all that for rocks? Come on, guys. Give me something other than rocks. Well, at least he's going to give me some iron bars, which is worth it. Okay. And let's harvest them and get some hide out of it, at least. I think the chest is... Oh, the chest is not empty. Got a glowing essence. I like that. Some more demon blood. Uh, I can take this stuff. What the hell? your body go out here. Oh, it already disappeared. And your friend already regenerated. will have your soul. Come on, one more job. Thank you. Out of my way, dear. Oh, a gland. Okay, I'll take that. Three. Let's see what we can harvest off of them. Some hide, which I want. And now let me get out of here. So that was a, a okay fight. But as you can see, I took my damage on that. I need to start regenerating. Okay. Now that little camp in the near future is going to be very handy to me. Because as soon as I get enough iron to build a wheel of a lesser wheel of pain, I'm gonna be getting some archers from there. Since those guys are a bunch of archers. <coughs> okay. Let's get this hide stuff going. This chest. Put the skull in there. Oops. I should put the blood and the gland, all the off the wall stuff kind of together. I don't want the flesh. I'm not a cannibal. <coughs> put 
put the glowing essence in there for now. And I actually have tons of bones, which is cool. That's a good thing. Uh, let's get rid of that bone shield. That's a waste of space. I already have stone daggers on me. I don't need another stone sword. That's a waste of space. That frees up some space in there. Let's give you that wood. And start giving you some stone in there. Okay. Alright, let's continue on. <coughs> continue also with the healing in that battle. Alright, so I need to go down and get some water. Water, water. Oh, I did get a level. I do need to up my encumbrance, that's for sure. <coughs> because I can't hardly carry anything. So how many points do I have left? I have two left. Do I do... I should probably do survival. My survival is very low. Okay. Feats. Journeyman. What do we got here? Fifteen available. This opens up the whole next level of that stuff. Weapons. Okay. Back to the game. Sorry for making that stop and kind of getting things a little boring. So. <coughs> yes, my throat feels dry, I know. I'm not going to feel dry. Oh, that was not smart. Okay. We're just swimming along. I feel like I'm swimming the English Channel here. Good grief. Out of stamina. I'm not going to get any stamina back until I get to the other side. Hopefully I don't run out and drown. Should keep regenerating. There we go. Let's get some stamina back. And let's refill my water skin, too. Keep regenerating.
This is kind of like Turtle Beach here. And they're just a bunch of these big old guys. Everywhere. I don't want to fight him right now. I'm on my way to get iron. So one of the um, viewers of the videos told me something that I didn't know. A couple of things. Uh, right here, while we've got some sticks in front of us. Uh, if you take an axe to a stick... Uh, come on. Let me do it. That's not... There we go. You can see when I hit this stick, I get four sticks instead of just picking it up. So if I use the axe, if there's only a lim limited number of sticks laying around, I can actually increase my yield on that by using an axe. I didn't know that. Um, the other thing, right now we don't have that ability because we're not a high enough level and we don't have the... Uh, the knowledge, but uh, another uh, viewer left a comment that you can actually collect dried wood from your dryer. You can make it in your dryer. Uh, the dryer is something you can dry meat and other things in later on, but yeah, I didn't know that either. I didn't know you could, could actually make your own dried wood. It makes sense. That's an interesting little tunnel. This is where, yeah, this is where my iron is. I say I should be pretty darn close to it, and I am. So this time, um, I saved this iron pickaxe. I didn't use it for routine stuff. It's for harvesting iron, because the, the better tool you, you use, the better yield you get when you're harvesting. Okay, so that one's done. It is. I hear the crumble, but it's not showing it to me. Huh, that's interesting. Here's the crumble. So what am I carrying I can get rid of? Well, let's start by getting rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Because I want plenty of room to carry as much iron as I can. There we go. I can make another one of those. I want to take the iron with me that I got. 
So as you can see, last time I had to harvest everything to get 200. I had to har harvest all these little nodes of iron ore. But now, I've got 291, and I haven't harvested half of them. My cutlass was growing rusty. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go back and harvest this iron and start working on some bigger, better stuff here. Ah, see, get out of there. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna let you go for a little while till I get back and harvest this iron. Hang in there, guys. Okay. So here we are, we're back again. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not too close to crocodiles. Time to show you something else here. So I'm just killing this just real quick uh, because I want to show you a skinning knife. Skinning knives will get you much higher yield on your hides and meat when you kill an animal. As you saw, I got like almost nine hides off of that one. Normally I'd be lucky to get you know, two or three. So the skinning knife is well worth its weight to carry around with you. Uh, so as soon as you get to a technological level where you can have that, do it. Okay. So we're heading back for more iron. Lots and lots of sticks in this area. What was chasing me, I wonder? Oh, a people! A people was chasing me. Ooh, you have a triple move. She's a level three, no wonder she's tough. Ah. Okay. So that was interesting, but that's okay. She was a level three, she was a tough little broad. Glad we met. there. I don't want to fight the crocodile. Or alligator. Whichever it is. I never know the difference. I know it's one mouth opens up, the other's opens down, or something like that. I honestly do not know. Okay, so the crocodile lost interest in me. But this guy won't. Skinning knife and show you again here. Let's do this. Look at all that hide I got off of that. I got a massive amount of hide. So I'm up to 55 hide after just killing three things because of this, the skinning knife. Like I said, guys, well worth its weight once you get there. Okay. So 
got this little black hand camp. One of these days I'm going to take these guys on. But like I say, right now I'm still... I want iron. Yeah, that's my turtle beach. Okay. Turtle beach. Let's get down. This guy's hovering around up here. Let's go. Do a little regenerating here. Let's get my weapon up, not the skidding knife. Hello? Ooh, I was too slow on the key to dodge! Get out of there! Yeah, I'm out of stamina. I gotta get moving so I can get some stamina. Swing! Swing batter! Swing batter! There you go, swing batter. And there we are. Yes. I'm getting a ton of hide. I want to leave some room for some iron ore. Because that was the purpose of the trip. Let's get some regeneration going here. Alright. Get my, my weapon back out. And another one of these turtle babies. Too slow on the... Walk, I'm out of stamina. Walk, 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 walk it off, walk it off. You do your big swing thing. done, my friend. You're done for. Five. Yes. All right. Where's the rest of my berries? Over here they are. Oh, how are my bugs doing? I should use one of those so that they don't expire on me. Up we go. We're making the climb to the iron ore coming in the back door. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't give myself a chance to regenerate. And I barely make this climb, as I recall. Fully generated. I don't want to fall and do myself some damage. That would be very counterproductive. Yeah, I barely make this climb. So I need the, all the energy I got to do it. Especially when I'm carrying a heavy load. Ah. 
Alright, let's make sure we're not running out of energy and supplies here. Let's change back to the iron axe, or iron pickaxe, I mean. So I need to get over there to get to the other iron. Uh-huh. Without drawing too much attention, and this guard is going to draw attention to me. stamina stuff. I should be able to go forever. Not really. That would make it very unrealistic. She was already starting to regenerate. See, headshots make no difference on people and on the bigger animals. They make no difference. we go. How oh, nice of your body to roll down this way so I can inspect it. Oh, I'll take it. people are in this camp. Got two at the campfire. One at the other end. One of these days I'll have to come in and clean this camp out, see if they've got anything interesting in their chest. Right now I'm still on the quest for iron. I haven't gotten to the riddle of steel yet. And we're close. Alright, so I'm over encumbered. Let's get rid of you guys. Oop. probably going to be about all I'm going to be able to carry this trip. And still be able to move with any speed. Oh, oh your body just hangs in midair. That's an interesting little glitch there. Floating body parts. Huh. Pull yourself together, lady. Alright, so I got some more iron. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to call this good for this episode. We'll get back to this in a little while. But um, that's this is just kind of a day in the life. You know, this is what uh, the early stages of Conan are about. You start to slowly explore the map. You start to slowly invade enemy camps. Uh, as you start to get the armor and weapons, you start battling more instead of trying to avoid. Uh, Remember that it's a good idea to take the bedroll with you, and if you think you're going to take on an enemy encampment, set it up so you have kind of a 
a little safety net early in the game so you don't lose all your good armor and all your equipment if you have to respawn close to the base. Uh, that's about all I got to say right now. This is Cast55 and you are staying alive with Cast55. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.